Hi everyone and welcome to another video here on my channel. Today I'm going to be making a little garden inside this tin. The reason I want to do this is because I got the tin for my birthday from my best friend. It had a little plant inside of it. The plant died and I have no idea how, but it did. So I'm going to attempt to make something that won't die and it's going to look really cute, hopefully. Um, what actually prompted me to do this is my best friend also got me these really cute little Totoro figurines and I haven't been able to do anything with them since she gave me them for my birthday which was over two months ago now and I wanted to use them together with the little tin and just make this really cute little garden scene. So as you can see here I decided to cut out some grass turf, some fake grass to put at the top Obviously, I'm using a really sharp knife, and I'm not very good with craft knives as it is, so using a Stanley knife probably wasn't my best move, but I had to use something that was sharp enough to cut out the grass, and the grass got everywhere. I am not joking when I said it was just all over my floor, all over my legs once I'd finished chopping out the bit that needs to go on the top of the tin, it was everywhere. But anyways, I cleaned up, and luckily it fit but it fell through. Because there wasn't anything supporting it, I was hoping that maybe I could just glue around the edges with hot glue and it would stay there, but that wasn't the case. So I went in and basically packed the bottom with a lot of cardboard. I used these toilet like roll tubes that I've had for a while in a box because I thought I'd use them for something, and then just random bits of cardboard and the most amount of hot glue I have ever used when I've created something. I think I used like just three sticks of hot glue just to secure this in place. I went around with green and basically was pushing the little tufts of grass towards it so it looked like it was really full in places where it was slightly off when it had been cut. Um, but it was really secure and that meant that I could get started with adding all the details. Now, for the details, I had a few little things. I had some fake leaves, I had felt, I had some polymer clay flowers, and I had this cute little Wally shoe that I'd made. So if you guys have seen the first addition to my Movie Make It series that I've decided to do, I decided to watch Wally, and I made this cute little fake shoe with a little fake plant inside of it. Again, that used quite a lot of hot glue, but not as much as I used during this little garden scene. I added the flowers and then it was time to choose the little Totoro's because I think there was about 10 in total, maybe more, and I didn't want to add all of them in because I thought it would be a bit crowded because it's not the biggest tin. So I decided to choose about 5 or 6 of them just to scatter them around and have them in different places and I tried to choose the garden themed ones. I know Totoro is supposed to be a little garden kind of forest spirit, but some of them weren't really garden related, so I tried to choose the ones that had flowers that had kind of like nature things with them. So with the gap at the back, there was kind of not many things that I thought would fit in with a little garden scene. But the one thing that came to mind fit in really well. So I started off by cutting out a kitchen roll tube, like a really thick one and just covering the outside with some dark brown felt. I wanted to use just one block colour because I want to try and keep the detail on the larger things to like a minimum because I felt like then it would all kind of coherently go together. Um, so after some trimming and stuff like that, I did realise that you could very distinctively see the connection between the tube and the felt and I obviously wanted it to look neat and tidy, so I braided some twine and just stuck that on with, again, very large amounts of hot glue. Um, and then once that was done, I then went on the inside with the felt and just made that more neat and things. But yeah, it kind of was coming together very well. And I don't really know if you can tell what I'm making, but once I'd attached the little roof and the little stilts to hold the roof up I think you can definitely tell what it is. Um, again the roof I wanted it to stay simple so I just used this pink card and made it into like a little rectangle kind of pyramid roof 
and of course it's supposed to be a little wishing well. Does it look like a wishing well? I don't know. I kind of think it does, but again, it's not the most detailed thing ever. It's kind of like a little kid's craft sort of thing you could make, but again, I don't know. I wanted it to stay simple because I wanted the detail to be in like the other little things and again if there's too much in one place I feel like it's going to look really cluttered and not in a good way. So like I said this could actually be a kids craft but I would recommend an adult using the hot glue gun because this was really painful. I got it all over my hands and the amount of times I had to peel hot glue off my fingers it, it just wasn't pleasant. So again, I went ahead with more hot glue and secured everything in place so it was where I thought it should be. While I was doing this, I did realise that there was quite a big gap in the middle. I did end up adding a couple extra like leaves and things to the outside to make it kind of all tie in together. And I went in with more hot glue to add the three centres to the flowers. But to fill in those gaps, I did have the original details from the dead plant, like these little stones. So I went around the edges and I went around the wishing well and I kind of filled them in. Again, I had this little log from the old flower and so then I added that in the middle and that really filled the gap up. And then, of course, I needed another little Totoro to stand on top of him because it just looked better with a little, little, little Totoro. Like, why wouldn't it? So once it was finished, I felt like it looked really, really cute. There was just one thing missing. And like I said, this was a gift from my best friend originally. And she had gone ahead and done this little sign for me. Like she'd actually like engraved it into the wood with one of those wood burning tools. I can't remember what they're called. But she made me a little sign that says Emma's plant. And I felt like it looked really cute in the background. Like it actually looked like it was supposed to be there and this was what it was supposed to be like. The You can't see but the flowers match with the purple on the bottom of the tin and the wishing well matches with the flowers and it just it all came together and I was really happy with it and I really enjoyed making it. So thank you guys so much for watching.